Hey Pisces and Pisces lovers and friends, welcome back to the Pisces portal. <laughs> okay, let's see what messages we get about Pisces and someone distance. There's too much distance to maintain this connection. Okay, so there could be physical distance or just emotional distance or both. So take it how it resonates, friends. Unexpected, unexpected people, events, messages, travel, or situations. Hmm. So, I definitely feel like some of you can, although it says unexpected, right? But you might receive, you know, unexpected communication from this person. Like, I feel like even though the two of you at a distance, some, um, are at a distance, <laughs> ooh we. I know it's early, but it's not that early. Um, even though the two of you are at a distance, I feel like something is going to occur that in an unexpected way may bring the two of you closer or perhaps something unexpected will happen that will lead you to get more information about this person. Okay. External party. Like I, I just said information. Karmic contracts, family, finances, and other material concerns or responsibilities are causes of interference and stress. Okay. And this is also, you know, maybe the reason why there's an emotional distance between you and someone as well. Okay, let's see. Heart chakra. Awaken your heart center and let love in. Okay, so <clears throat> even though, you know, there is an external party or influence of some sort, um, I still feel like, again, in an unexpected way, you're going to receive a message from this person. Okay, so let's see what else comes through. So we have express love through gifts. A small token of love can convey great appreciation. Yeah, so I feel like this person is going to come towards you, Pisces, with a gift, with a message, with something that you're totally not expecting. And in the meantime, Spirit is saying to look to your inner strength. You are stronger than you realize. So I feel like at this time, you know, being at a distance um, from this person in some way is really making you feel uneasy and unsure of yourself and how you can, you know, make it through. But you're stronger than you realize. I, you know, I feel like Spirit is saying to you, you know, to awaken your heart center and let love in. Not just the love that you want from this person, but let spirit's love um, overwhelm you, okay? Because that in turn is going to bring love to you um, from anyone, okay? 
family, friends, whomever. I also get too that for some of you, this is someone who you met when you were younger, okay? Yeah, for some of you, this is someone you met when you were younger and, you know, here you are, you know, uh, a bit more mature and you still have a place in your heart for this person. Free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. Hmm. Romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. Mm. Let's see what else. Heart to heart conversations. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. So, again, there's definitely going to be unexpected communication here. You and this person are going to really discuss your feelings because they're worth exploring. I mean, this, this is kind of like the same message that came up yesterday in a different way. Um, but I think in terms of freeing yourself, it's time to take back control of your life. Um, I think spirit really wants you to center yourself okay um don't stop doing certain things because you think it might um keep you at a distance from this person longer than it already has like still live your life still be yourself like i feel like by continuing to be yourself and do what is best for you that's going to cause this person to come back but this is going to be completely unexpected, okay? Like, or the way it happens is not a way in which you can piece it all together, okay? Because really, divine mind is overseeing all of this and is going to be the one that brings things together for you and this person, okay? So let's see what else, what else? I'm gonna get some messages from this person. I think some of you might second guess your feelings and if they're, you know, legit, okay? If you should even feel this way for this person, but it's saying, you know, your feelings are real and worth exploring, okay? So you're not delusional, okay? So this person is saying, I'm sorry. <sighs> wow. We have, I like you but we also have whatever, okay? So I feel like this person has been very, um, very immature and that is what they're sorry about, right? Um, I think they may have been a little egotistical and felt like, oh, whatever, you know, I, you know, like I can do without Pisces, um, but that's not how they really feel, okay? <laughs> um, Cause they're sorry. We have thank you for listening to me. Now, I feel like you and this person had a lot of really good conversations. They're saying, I would never hurt you. And I, whoo, I'll see you soon. Pisces, listen here. <laughs> okay, Spirit is saying that this is going to be unexpected. You're, you're going to see this person again and have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with them. Period. Wow. 
Cool, Spirit. What advice do you have for Pisces in the mean and in between time? Let me get a card from this deck over here. If this person meant to... No. If this person hurt you, Pisces, they did not mean to. Okay? Um... And please take it within reason. Like, if it's somebody who you know meant to, then then clearly this ain't about them. But <laughs> um, for the rest of you, however, you know, this person, they did not, like, intentionally mean to hurt you. Okay? Um, whatever they did or said or perhaps the lack thereof, you know, that hurt you. But in terms of them, you know, seeking to intentionally hurt you, that is not the case. I just think this person, you know, is a little immature or was at times. And, you know, they definitely like you. Um, but I also feel like being connected with you that card fell let me see being connected with you Pisces does you know it did a lot for this person okay which is why the two of you are going to come back so the advice that you have from spirit is to trust okay although things feel shaky um they feel uncertain trust spirit okay trust the spirit is with you trust that spirit is guiding you through this entire um process okay um let me see let me get one more on the other you know piece of advice is to continue to look to your inner strength go within to center yourself you know don't let your mind just like if, if you can help it run wild <laughs> no okay what other advice do you have for Pisces? Okay, I'm just going to pick a top card because this is doing too much. <laughs> so let's see. Oh, sea of love. <laughs> Pisces, Spirit wants you to trust that love is coming towards you. Okay? Trust that it's all going to work out for you. Also, I'm hearing to trust, you know, um, Trust that you're lovable. Trust, um, you know, that you're attractive. Just trust in spirit and trust in yourself, okay? So this has been your reading. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you later. Bye.